वेलकम टू वीक फाइव लेक्चर टू लोड मॉनिटरिंग मेथड्स इन हेल्थ स्पेसिफिक फिटनेस ट्रेनिंग टू ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ लेक्चर टू इज टू नो लोड मॉनिटरिंग मेथड्स फॉर मस्कुलर स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग द आउटकम इज टू यूज लोड मॉनिटरिंग मेथड्स इन मस्कुलर स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग फॉर मस्कुलर स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग द ट्रेनिंग लोड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इंटेंसिटी इज एक्सप्रेस एज परसेंट वन आर एम or multiple rm or rpe here the aim is to increase your muscular strength by lifting as heavy weight as possible traditionally muscular strength intensity is mentioned as percent of 1 rm where you try to use a weight in relation to the percent of 1 rm you want to lift this is a traditional method however you cannot monitor the load lifted for each and every repetition and exercise especially when you are having an adaptation of improved muscular strength week by week so one of the method to monitor the load that is intensity when the aim is to increase muscular strength is velocity based monitoring method in velocity based monitoring method this device monitors the velocity of movement using a linear positioning transducer technology or an accelerometer technology velocity of movement is categorized as max strength strength speed speed strength or starting strength and every parameter has a predefined velocity of movement so when your aim is to increase your muscular strength the velocity of the movement should be up to 0.5 meter per second one important fact to understand the concept of velocity based training is as you increase the load as you lift heavier load the velocity of movement decreases and as you lift lighter weight the velocity of movement increases so there is an inverse relationship between the load lifted and the velocity of movement the traditional way of monitoring load when your aim is to increase muscular strength is person based training method your 100% of 1 rm represents one repetition 90% of 1 rm represents four repetition 80% of 1 rm represents eight repetitions now your aim is to increase muscular strength so you you aim to lift more heavier weights so the repetitions are much more less but it doesn't help you to understand what should be the exact load for every session considering the fact that as you progress in your muscular strength training your muscular strength increases so what you have lifted in the previous week has given you an adaptation and there is an increased in muscular strength ability so your previous week 80% of 1 rm load that you lift would be much more greater in the current week because of an training adaptation so in that case person based method becomes an unreliable method to monitor the load in this case we use a velocity based training method let's consider an example prescription for lower body muscular strength here a sample workout prescription is given which targets to improve muscular strength in lower body with three exercise at 90% of 1 rm now 90% of 1 rm leads to four repetitions using velocity based training method you know that if your aim is to increase your muscular strength the velocity of movement should be up to 0.5 meter per second so you use the load in such a way that the velocity of the movement for squat exercise it doesn't goes beyond 0.5 meter per second so you adjust the weight in such a way that the velocity of movement is up to 0.5 meter per second this way you can very objectively choose a relative load 
that represent 90% of one RM. And irrespective of your current muscular strength, every time you move, the speed of the movement should be up to 0.5 meter per second. So if there is an increase in your muscular strength, that would be reflected by simply having a greater lifting ability rather than greater speed of movement. So your speed of movement is constant. However, the weight that you are lifted keeps on increasing, which represents an increased muscular strength ability. Let's take a second example where you can use velocity based monitoring method to control the load and monitor the load to increase muscular strength. In this example, the intensity that is the load that is prescribed is 75% of 1 RM which represents around 10 repetitions. We use velocity based training method to perform 10 repetitions at 75% of 1 RM. This method helps you to choose a very objective and reliable load that matches 75% of 1 RM. To do so, you use a guidelines at 75% of 1 RM what should be the velocity of movement which should be in between 0 0.75 meter per second to 1 meter per second. So you use the external load that will enable you to perform a squat exercise for example with a speed in between 0 0.75 to 1 meter per second. Now because it has 10 repetition and the aim is to maintain this velocity you perform a cluster sets where Every cluster you perform two repetition and maintain the speed in between 0 0.75 to 1 meter per second. And after every two repetition, you wait for 5 to 10 seconds and again perform another clusters. 10 repetition represents a total of five clusters. This is a second example where you can improve your muscular strength by lifting a lighter load but much more at a higher velocity. So in summary, velocity based monitoring method gives an opportunity to objectively select relative load based on velocity of the movement. In velocity based training method, relative load is selected considering the velocity of the movement rather than the absolute 1RM strength. Thank you.